Hey y'all, we're going to do some shading today. Shading is great because you can make something look three-dimensional on a two-dimensional surface. Today I'm going to show you how to do a round object. This will be like a ping pong ball. You'll also notice that at the top right there's an arrow which indicates the direction the light will be coming from. You can also see my circle is not quite perfect. It would be better if it was, but we can work with that and make it a little bit better as we go on. One other thing I want to mention is that the outline I've made for the ball is very, very lightly done. I don't want to see an outline when I'm done, so make that very, very light. Okay, so I am making very small stroke marks. I'm going in multiple directions, and I'm also creating sort of a crescent shape so that it's going to be a lot darker on the far side from the light source. Do you see the darker curving edge? This will make your circle look like it's three-dimensional. Also notice that I am not having an outline. That's really important that you shade right into your outline and make that outline part of your shading, which is why it's important to make that very light circle in the first place. I've gotten most of the shading done now. You can see where the light source is up near the top over a little bit on the right. It's the lightest area and then it's darker away from that light source in sort of that curving shape. Here I'm taking my kneaded eraser and I'm lightening that lighter area just a little bit more. And notice that I'm sort of dabbing at it. I'm not erasing like scrubbing. I'm just picking it up a little bit. While you have your eraser in hand, now is a great time to kind of clean up those edges that were a little uneven can do that very simply at this point. And now the ball is pretty much shaded. However, in order for this to really look three-dimensional, we need to create a cast shadow. I've created a small oval shape underneath the ball. That will be where the cast shadow is. And also I'm adding a little bit more dark into that darkest part on the underneath side of the ball. You can see that it's a little needs to go a little bit darker under there. I've started filling in the cast shadow. You can see that there. It's darker than the ball itself. And also notice too, um, right where the ball and the shadow touch, the ball gets just a little bit lighter. That's called a reflected light, and it's reflecting the lighter surface. Even though there's a shadow there, it's reflecting the lighter surface coming back up into the shadow on the ball. Now it's time to do just a little bit of cleanup with your eraser to clean up any fuzzy edges. This little shaded ball is all done now. It looks three-dimensional because the shading has been done very gradually, very gradual change between light and dark. It is shaded with a darker crescent away from the light source and a, it has a highlight toward the light source. And it also has a cast shadow. Now it's your turn to give it a try.